Hello! In this YouTube video I would like to guide you through the Notion template that I have created which is called Simplify Your Life and it is what it says aimed to just make your life easier. Um, when you look on this page you will see that so far it looks pretty empty but we will fill it again and bring it to life. Uh, what you see here in the first block is basically today. So whatever is up for today you will see here. Um, it includes your daily routines which of course you can change um, but for me it's vitamins that I've taken today. I checked my to-do lists. I moved and stretched and I also journaled and how I journal I will show you here. So you click on this bottom and a new page will open and you click daily entries which is the template for the daily entries. Uh, let's make this page bigger. Um, today is November 16th. It is, uh, this is automatically created when you enter the entries from the main dashboard page. I will show you later where you can also enter your entries. Let's call this Wednesday since today is Wednesday. And then you find here some checks which are important for me. Maybe for you others are important and of course these ones you can change. So I did exercise today and also I slept eight hours. Then for um, if this is applicable for you, you can enter your cycle day. You can enter your mood. I feel quite joyful today. Then you can relate this to months. So there's nothing yet, beca yet because we haven't entered a month yet. But this we will do later and I will show you later. Then you can also um, relate it to all trips. This is a travel page that I will also show you later. The weekday is automatically calculated. It shows us that today is Wednesday. And then you have some morning questions that may help you to focus, to find focus for today and to set an, um, an intention for today, for example. And you have some evening reflection questions and also some space for individual notes and pictures. If we then go back to our dashboard, so you see that here we already have an entry. And this we will also do now for the today's meal and today's exercise. But this we don't do here, but we go to the pages because this is intended to be um, functioning as a meal planner so you can plan ahead and on your dashboard it will only show what what's on for today. So here you find different recipes, different examples that I already entered. So for example, let's open the pancakes. You see here the preparation time then the meal it is supposed to be for, some allergies, um, also the diet for which it is suitable like vegetarians, vegans, omnivores, the servings, the website where you found the recipe and you can also enter the ingredients here. And then of course you can also write the recipe here. Um, the ingredients that you entered here they will be shown here in the ingredients table. And everything that is that has a blue check, this is what you still have available. If you don't have it available, then this is your shopping list. So things that you need. This will all be shown here and will help you to um, don't lose track on which things you still need to buy. And now let's plan our meal for the week. So let's say we plan the meal for today is Wednesday. We open the page and we click the meal planner template. It is important to enter the date so that it can be shown then on the dashboard page. Today is November 16. For breakfast, I want to have some overnight oats. 
For lunch, I could have spaghetti carbonara. For dinner, let's have some oven veggies. And snack, we will have a carrot cake. Okay, then we close this page and we can do the same for Thursday. We open the page, we click the meal planner. Tomorrow is 17 for breakfast. Well, let's have some pancakes. For lunch, we can have um, a pate chicken. For dinner, we can have a Caesar salad. And snack, let's have some roasted chickpeas. Okay. And then when we go back to our dashboard, we see what is on for today. So it really only shows you today. And the same principle applies for our workout. So here you can enter your workout routine. I did this already as an example. Today is Wednesday, which means it's a rest day. Um, you find here already some examples for different workouts. And then you can plan your um, week here. We start again with Wednesday. We open the page. Then we click the daily exercise template. Today is... November 16 and we just saw that today is a rest day so we choose the rest workout here um, and then when we go back to our dashboard we see that it is propagated here okay so then let's check the tasks and events so this is the calendar view of the master's calendar which you find here so the master's calendar combines three different um, databases so to speak so it is your job one then the private one and it includes the first day database um, you can have the combination of all of them here and you can have the calendar view here and all these different views are uh, duplicated here so we can make job entries here but we can also do it on the work um, page that I will show you later so I will focus now on private and birthdays so let's say we have to take Rocky on a walk we haven't done that today, so I cannot check it, um, but I should still do it today, so today. Um, it shows you the weekday, if that is an important filter for you, maybe. And it shows you whether it's in this week or not. And you can um, assign it a type, which is a to-do in that case. Um, then let's say we have a doctor's Appoint, appointment um, next week maybe next week on Wednesday which is not this week so it's not checked and it is an appointment then let's say um, it's grandpa's birthday today today is November 16 then you can enter the actual date of birth here, which was November 16, let's say 1956, maybe. And then it shows you the age here and how old the person turns. So since today is his birthday, uh, both numbers are the same, but let's give it another try and say it's grandma's birthday um, next week. And grandma was born in 1958. So then you see here that now she's still 63, but she will turn 64. And if you want, you can enter some gift ideas here. Uh, if we go back now to our dashboard, 
We see today is grandpa's birthday and we should take Rocky on a walk. Um, you can have the calendar view here. And you can also only see what is on for your job and um, in your private life. Okay, then let's go ahead and go to the work page, which you find here. Um, okay, so we enter a new project. You open the project template. And let's give it a name. Let's call it Create Notion Template. We start today and we should finish by Saturday. The status is it is in progress. And then you can enter a responsible person or co-workers. And here you have some space to um, make some more notes for your project. Like for example, main aims, specific aims, but also some milestones. The material that you may need and the background information such as, oh there's a typo, this I will correct, um, such as literature for example, and some tasks that you need to fulfill in order to finish the project. Okay, so we have our project created and then this is um, the calendar for your job entries, tasks and events. And this is a duplicated view from the master's calendar. Um, so we can make entries here now. So let's say we have to collect ideas for template. Uh, we should do that today. And the project we do that for is the creation and notion template. Then you can assign it a type, which is in that case uh, to do. Then let's say we have a team meeting um, next week on Wednesday. Um, this is not assigned to a specific project, so we leave it open and this is a meeting. So now in this tab you have the overview of all your tasks and events um, in your job life. If you want to have an overview of only those ones that are on this week, we click this tab and you see here only the idea collection is due this week. And of course, you can also have the calendar view here. And then we can also fill our work time here. So let's say on Wednesday, Wednesday yeah, that's correct, Wednesday, we start at 8 in the morning. And we end at 5 in the afternoon. So then uh, Notion calculates your working hours here. And this assumes that you work, in that case, um, your working time minus 45 minutes break. Which can, of course, be different for you, then you can just edit this uh, formula here and so 45 hours is a quarter hour so you can just edit that here if you only have 50 minutes break for example and it calculates your overworking hours assuming that you have an eight hour work day so if you have a six hour work day you can just modify that here and then you can also add the calendar week and the month here. So if we go back now to our dashboard, we see here also the entries for our job. Okay, so we have this. Then for me, it's also um, 
everyday important uh, education page where I just um, have take notes about the courses, the courses that I'm taking, that I'm attending, uh, whether it's self-learning, online or in-person course. You see here your progress if you enter milestones and the completed milestones and you can enter here an URL as well. So then let's go down here to those pages that at least I don't need every day, but if you need them every day, you of course can arrange this a bit and maybe switch those ones down and maybe these ones up there. So the daily journal page is here and you can also of course enter your daily journal here. Then we have a page for the month. So we can enter here November. Then we open it and we open the template for the month. Now we have November. And then you have here some questions um, that help you to focus on your goals this month, for example, and also some reflection questions for the end of the month. Okay, and you can relate that to your daily entries. So we have an entry for Wednesday, so you can relate that. Okay, then we go back to our dashboard and we also have this page for the entire year. Um, so this is a page with a lot of questions that you can answer and goals that you want to achieve in the new year. And then also again an end of year reflection. Yes, exactly. A lot of questions that uh, may help you to focus. Okay, and then let's continue with the last pages here. So the finance page. The finance page gives you the opportunity to keep track of uh, two different bank accounts, which are separated into income, expenses and savings. And you will see here the sum of those ones and the balance. So let's show you an example. Um, let's say mm, I got my salary. Salary, yeah. Then the month is November. Um, let's say I got 3000 euro. The type is a fixed income. And you will see this already here. Total income for account one is 3000. So the total balance is 3000 because my starting balance here was zero. Let's say my starting balance was already 5000 when I started. So Notion automatically calculates your balance then. Let's do the same with it. Ah, what I wanted to say, what I show you before is, so here it shows you all the months, but of course you can also filter that by month. So now if you make a new entry, let's say I got another salary, that would be nice. Um, November is already entered here. The same you can do for all the other um, databases here, tables. But let's go back to all. Okay. Then let's do the same for expenses. I had to pay my rent, which is a thousand a month. Oh no, I was wrong. Um, November here and the thousand here. And the type is fixed expense because I have to pay it every month the same. Um, then Let's show you another example. Let's say we went grocery shopping. 
also in November. Mm, we paid 50 euros. This is a flexible expense. And the category here is food. And for the rent, it was rent here. So now you can also define a budget. Let's say for food per month, we don't want to spend more than 300 euro. That means that you are still in budget with the 50 euros that you have spent on food. And it also automatically calculates the percentage and the green squares here mean that you are still perfectly fine in your budget. If I had spent, let's say, 350 for food, then that's over your budget and it shows you. So it also helps you to keep track of how much you spend for which things, for example. And it works the same for savings. Um, Let's say I save my monthly savings for November are thousand and this is a fixed saving. Expenses I don't feel now because I don't plan to spend from my savings. But if you need to, of course, you can also enter that here. Um, and then everything will be shown here. And the total balance, of course, as well. Um, so this gives you the possibility to combine two different bank accounts, whether they are both your bank accounts or maybe you want to use this um, template with your partner together. Okay, so then let's continue with the travel page. This helps you to plan all your trips. So first, yeah, as I said, to plan them, but also it shows you the ones that are finished already and those ones that are on your wish list. So I will show you the example that I have here already. I was in France in September. Um, you can enter here the budget if you have one, then the expenses and, for example, best traveling months for France. And you can relate that to your daily entries. Then this page gives you the possibilities to collect some information and resources. So whether it's a web page that you found some information on, a podcast or maybe a YouTube video. Um, it helps you to plan things like visa requirements or vaccination requirements, how to go there and how to commute there, and some highlights or other notes, some activity ideas, and then you can plan your trip here. Um, like, for example, I was in the hotel, then I could enter the place here um, in Nice, the date and the type, which is in that case accommodation status is done already, um, what I've spent for that, if it's paid already, because sometimes you book things in advance and you pay them later, um, the months I have paid it and some notes if you may need. And then I just entered um, a Google Maps screenshot here. Or no, it's actually not a screenshot, it's directly embedded from Google Maps into Notion. Okay, um, then the last two pages, one is entertainment. Um, that gives you an overview of all the books and audiobooks you have read and listened to, um, movies and series, and also podcasts. This is pretty self-explanatory, I believe, so I will not mm, explain this further. It shows you author, the type, the genre. You can read it, um, the date you have read it, the language, if it's read already, and then the same here, 
four movies and series. Yes, exactly. And then the last one is the job appli application um, page, which is here also entered with an example. You can enter the company here, um, what you are applying for, the type, whether it's freelance, part-time, full-time, the status, if you have applied and if when, the date you got the feedback and you can enter um, attachments such as a CV or a cover letter and also a website. Okay, that's it for the Notion template. I hope you like it. I hope you enjoyed the little tour through it and let me know um, what you think and if I can improve things. Thanks for watching.